hi today is our last step before we start the revolution that is now defining the contact between the ball and our surface body defining the time from a simulation to the canal and how to get the output let's start now defining the, the surfaces in contact remember as this body is moving it's going to touch this surface we have to define how this body is touching the surface how do you do that you go to now keyword you select the contact i need contact and i like using automatic surface this has a surface this is a surface to touch automatically therefore automatic surface to surface the most advisable add we need ball to create new taking some time ball to plate ball to plate what is SID this is the moving element MSD is what is being hit in this case SSID is our slave, you can see slave segment is what is moving, it is the ball moving, then for this one is a, the part being impacted by the ball. For the type we need to use a part ID and for the fixed part to use also part ID, therefore I have to use ball here, done, MSID I have to use the plate shell. Done. For the static coefficient of friction, I'm going to use 0 0.2, and for the dynamic friction coefficient, I'm going to use a 0 0.1. I think those are enough. You accept done. Take, taking some time. Then you go back now to define control. Yes, where now you define the time? We need to define the time. Well, to use i'm looking for termination after how many seconds will, will our simulation terminate termination of i want to use a 0 0.1 milliseconds accept done last three i want to define the output that is using the database you go to database for the output i prefer using a binary 3d plot I'm looking for a binary, binary 3D, 3D plot here. I want to use this binary 3D plot. Done. Accept. Done. A binary 3D plot. That should be okay. We need to get a time interval of 0 0.1. For the time interval accept done that's all we need to do the next thing is to run the simulation 